Few months ago mga kaibigan, we have this 50k to 60k PC build. Now this time, we will try to rebuild it again with a client build. Meron tayo ngayon dito 3600 with RX 5700 XT combo. So yan po yung alamin natin as of February 2020 with this T-Force Extreme 2x8 16GB 4000MHz memory. Dito pa lang panalong panalo na kasi few months ago, pag bumili ka ng uh, RAM at a 6K more or less price point, hindi ka makakabili ng 3,600 megahertz at that price point. You can only buy mga around 3,000 or 3,200 megahertz. As of 2020, you can now have 3,600 megahertz or even 4,000. Yan po yung alamin natin. Feel free to subscribe din dahil may mga ilalabas din ako mga videos. Like how is my feedback with a gaming laptop at a worth 50k budget. Alright, so let's do this. Now let's start with the components. So first is the chassis of course, Cooler Master MB520TG. So medyo nagbagsak sila ng presyo para kahit pa paano uh, lumapit sa mga presyo ng Rack Gears and Techwear. And so far, uh, it's a good choice for us to have at a 3K more or less price point. And then uh, for the video card of course, the RX 5700 XT, I have here the Pulse uh, variant of uh, Sapphire para kahit pa paano tumerno dun sa red trims ng ating chassis. So inside, and uh, exterior side, eh kahit pa paano, magteterno siya na red theme. And then for the motherboard, of course, the wildly considered best B450 bang for the back motherboard, Tomahawk. Yan po yung ginamit natin na motherboard. And then for the processor, 3600X. And for the memory, of course, the T-Force Extreme with uh, this ARGB support na pwedeng uh, ma-support ng ASUS, Gigabyte, MSI, and Astrock. And then kung mapapansin nyo mga kaibigan, wala tayong aftermarket cooler na ginamit dahil nga po uh, medyo tight yung budget, medyo may limitation. It's not the, that uh, thing na tight pero may limitation yung budget that we want to focus yung uh, budget ng ating kasamahan dito sa ating channel sa mga components. Like for example, if I will be going for an AIO, then I need to compromise the choice in terms of video card. Mabipilitan ako mag RX 5700 or Maybe uh, some components will be compromised like a lower motherboard or lower uh, storage. Pero since kailangan ng uh, client natin yung mga requirements na yun, at the same time without compromising the performance, so yun, na no choice tayo na yung AIO or yung aftermarket cooler yung hindi muna natin nilagay ngayon kasi yung aftermarket cooler pwede naman yan susunod since may stock cooler naman po nakasama yung 3600X processor. So ganyan po mag-build mga kaibigan. If... Uh, Uh, you are trying to maximize your budget in terms of performance, yung mga aftermarket cooler or yung mga additional fans, additional uh, LED strip, saka na yung mga yan dahil ang focus talaga dapat ng budget natin is sa mga main component, core components, RAM, motherboard, processor, ano ang magagawa or anong may papakita sa atin ng worth 50k to 60k plus PC build ngayong 2020. As of 2020, ang babaguhin ko rin po compared before is I will focus more on the benchmarks pagdating sa mga commonly played games like PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Dota 2, CSGO, etc. Kung ano mang pinakabago at pinakamadalas laruin dito sa ating bansa. Okay, so grab your popcorn and let's watch this.
attention. Delivering care package. Care package touching down. They usually carry rare platforms. You got fam Yeah, the damage on these defenders is so rough. Yes, they're one player up, but at what cost? One HE grenade, that's on Glaive. We'll see where he places that. Sanji's got to be careful towards this choke point if he leans in to try and take a peek. It's going to be a boost up for the defense. Three players here still. They're really respecting the danger of a B hit from Astralis. And at the moment, with four players in Banana and no control elsewhere on the map, that's the right call to make. Having two people like that towards CT spawn, I wonder why they don't boost one of them up, because, yeah, they, okay, they, they do a little bit of time. It could be a pretty good call. They don't have any more HEs on the Astralis side, so he shouldn't be grenaded out of there. And with only 20 health, if he can get a kill before he goes down, that's pretty big. They're not going to be swapping back. They're going to be running for it here. Great. I don't have to find something special. Five to nothing, but a double up setup now for the defense. You have to imagine they're going to want one in Banana, one towards that eight bomb site. They need to find picks to alleviate some of this. Jame. Does he want to go for a peek in alt mid? And indeed he does, but backs away. He chooses a different option at the last second. We do enjoy the craziness, but running down old mid that late in the round that's definitely crazy look at this fast execute coming around the corner they must have called it out is there going to be a flashbang or anything or is james just going to slow peek it had a big chance there but now if he repeeks it it's dangerous you don't know how many people are going to be waiting on that corner and they're going to back it off astralis these are the risks that astralis is going to And then, syempre, maraming salamat din kay Sir Brian Magsipok for uh, uh, choosing me to help you build your gaming rig. And then, uh, for others na nagtatanong po pagdating sa kung pwede po bang magpabuild sa akin, yes po, pero um, kung medyo nagmamadali tayo, uh, there are also local stores that I may recommend. You may just uh, PM me para at least uh, matulungan ko po kayo kasi pag sa akin po kayo magpabuild, it may take uh, two weeks, ganun po katagal. Lalong-lalo na kung magre-request po kayo ng ganito na ibibideo ko po yung rig natin or ifi-feature po natin dito sa ating channel. What's the reason kung bakit ko ngayon ipinapakita sa inyo mga kaibigan nito? This is to remind you guys that when you build a gaming rig, when you build a PC, always have your video card updated. Dapat laging updated pang video card or else you are missing 10% or even worse, a 30% performance of your hardware especially sa video card mga kaibigan yan po yung dapat kailangan lagi nating updated bilang gumagamit ng PC uh, kung wala kang masyadong idea pag natingin sa technical ang hindi mo dapat uh, hindi malaman is kung papaano mo i-update yung drivers ng video card mo alright so that's it lang po mga kaibigan benchmark won't lie if there are things that I have missed feel free to comment down below if there are things that you want to add in terms of information that I have related to you I-comment nyo lang po dyan sa baba. Alright, so that's it mga kaibigan. Feel free to subscribe and thank you.